Yes, well, I mean, Chris, Chris is quite right to be uh, incensed by what's gone in Hong Kong. Um, and I think, I mean, I've been discussing Hong Kong with my foreign office contacts this week. And this, this is a great stain on the West that this has happened, that democracy has been completely crushed uh, in a country by the Chinese Communist Party. Uh, and this is, a, this, this is a wake up call on the same scale, to my mind, as the invasion of Ukraine. Um, but you, you, raised, you raised the issue of the alliance between China and Russia. And what is important when we're looking at this, and I'd be interested to hear what Chris says on this, but China is very much the dominant partner. China regards uh, Russia, as somebody once put it to me, as nothing more than a gas station. Um, and Russia has a very small economy. Um, it's, it's very dependent on its oil and gas um, exports. Um, and I think, you know, judging from what we're seeing on the ground in Ukraine, the war has not gone well. No. Um, tomorrow, instead of celebrating a great victory in Ukraine on, on May the 9th, Victory Day, um, th they will have to try and spin some other story, probably de declaring a state of war because they're losing. Okay. And, when Ru and, and when China sees this, they think, well, what's the point of having a, a relationship with Russia?